This is Big Podcast. It's Build a Big Podcast, the marketing podcast for podcasters. My name is David Hooper. I am talking on a different mic than the one that I usually use. I usually use an Electro Voice RE20. It's a classic broadcast mic. But for the last, I don't know, five or six weeks, I've been telling you about a deal from Focusrite on the Vocaster 1 Studio and also the Vocaster 2 Studio. They're more or less the same thing when it comes to preamps, how the equipment works. The main difference is one, the Vocaster 2 Studio. It's got an interface that handles two people at once. There are two inputs, two microphones. If you're doing something live with another person in the same room, that's the one that you want. The Vocaster 1 has one input, and each has a different mic. The mic that I'm using now, I'm going to call this the Vocaster 1 mic. It's very similar to an SM58. If you're familiar with that mic by Shure, it's a classic stage mic. Everybody and his brother has used one. It's on every stage in every club in the United States and the world. I was actually in the Shure offices, I don't know, 10 days ago, and I was talking to one of the guys there. I said, man, you must sell a lot of these mics. Like a million a year? <laughs> he looked at me. I go, two million? And he gives a look at me. So anyway, <laughs> millions a year? I don't know. I don't know. This is modeled off that classic mic. I wanted you to hear it, hear it in my voice. I'm going directly into a Focusrite box. I'm not using a noise gate, a compressor, or anything like that. What I have done, now that you're hearing the finished product, is I've run this through my post-production process, which is Isotope RX. I've cleaned it up a little bit because there's no noise gate. Maybe there's some breath sounds that I cleaned up. I wanted you to hear this mic as I would use it because this mic with the interface and the headphones and the cables, 99 bucks right now. People are thinking, no way, is that a good mic? Yeah, it is a good mic. It's a very good mic. In fact, I'm going to give you the $200 version here in a minute. I actually like this mic better than the one on the Vocaster 2. If you see the build on this, it's heavier than an SM58. It's like solid steel, I guess. <laughs> it's heavy. It's got some substance. It's well-built. It's the perfect startup mic. The interface can grow with you. The mic can grow with you too. And this is the way that I would do that. If you get this Vocaster 1 Studio, again, 99 bucks right now. This is a great mic and it's a great interface for you to mail to somebody. If you're doing remote interviews, mail them a kit then have them mail that kit to the next person when you're done with it. You can mail it, get a lot of great interviews about it. It's a great portable rig. Let's say you're going to a convention, you want a podcast on the road, it's great. It's easy to transport. Like I'm saying, the mic is solid. I don't even know if you'd need a case for it. I'd put it in a pouch or something. You want to protect your gear, even at this cost. But still, it's nice to have something that's roadworthy. 99 bucks for this. Let me explain to you what I'm doing. I'm using a $10 shock mount. I'm using the Focusrite box going straight into Audacity. So if you're looking to get into podcasting on the cheap and you want to sound pretty good, this is a great way to do it. Here's your comparison. This is the Vocaster 1 mic. This is the Vocaster 1 mic. I'm talking into the Vocaster 1 mic. Let me go back and forth on these so you can hear the difference. I have just switched mics. This is the Vocaster 2 mic. Again, not the official name. But this is the microphone that comes with the Vocaster 2 Studio. Right now, $199. It's a two-input interface, the same as the Vocaster 1, same preamp, same everything, except for two things. One, you get that second input. So if you've got a second person in the room with you, hook up two mics to it, it can handle it. It also has a Bluetooth connection. That way, if you want to interview somebody via phone, you're doing a live broadcast where you're transmitting through your phone, the Vocaster 2 connects to your phone via Bluetooth. No wires, no cables, nothing like that. Just Bluetooth. It's a really great way to do it. This mic, again, I'm calling it the Vocaster 2 mic because it comes with the Vocaster 2 Studios. It is very similar to the SM7B by Shure. You've seen this mic. It is one of the two mics that you were going to see in broadcast radio. I mentioned that I used the RE20 by Electro Voice. That's one of them. The Shure SM7B is the other one, and this is a model of the Shure SM7B. I think it's a little top-heavy. Personally, I prefer the Vocaster 1 mic, but this is not a bad mic. It's got the pop filter. It looks cool. It doesn't require a shock mount. It's got a built-in stand. It is a very nice mic. It's going to look great on camera. It looks cool in your studio. Just to give you a comparison on what this is modeled after, that mic, the SM7B, by itself, $400. The equivalent mic that I use, the Electro Voice RE20, 
that's $500. So for $200, you get this, the Vocaster 2 mic, the Vocaster 2 Studio, that's going to let you hook this mic up to your computer. Both these packages come with studio headphones. You get the cables, everything you need, voiceovers, podcasting, streaming, broadcasting. These things are great for live streaming. I love the big knobs on them. It's got two big knobs. One is your monitor volume, so your headset, or if you're not broadcasting, speakers. It makes it really easy to get the volume that you need. The other knob is your gain, and something I haven't mentioned regarding the gain. Now, this is the non-technical version of what gain is. You're like, what is a gain? That is the signal from the mic going into the computer, and that was automatically set by the Focusrite box. So when you get the Vocaster 1, the Vocaster 2, one button is going to set your gain. You press the button, then you speak how you normally would. Hey, it's David. Welcome to Build a Big Podcast. This is the podcast about growing your podcast audience. Making a podcast that people care about, it knows how loud you're speaking, and it sets your gain so you get a perfect recording. Well, maybe not perfect. I mean, it's not flawless. (laughs) Full disclosure on this. It's possible to mess recordings up, (laughs) but it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's not going to be too low. It's not going to be too high. One button and you're done. And this is why it's such a great package to send a guest. You send them the interface, send the mic, send the headphones. They press that one button. It's going to get those levels perfectly. Overall, it's a great package. This is definitely a mic that you can grow with. If you were to use this mic five, 10 years into your career, it's going to be a solid mic. You're not going to be embarrassed by it. It looks good. It sounds great. You can hear it right now. And again, this is me going directly into a Focusrite box. I'm recording on Audacity. Now, I have touched it up a little bit because you're used to hearing me being touched up in the normal podcast that I do, the one with the RE20. I've gone through Isotope RX. I've deplosived a little bit, cut the background noise, done a little EQ. But more or less, it's the same process. I wanted you to have an accurate representation of what this mic can do for you. It's a great package. The Vocaster 1 Studio right now, $99. The Vocaster 2 Studio, you're only going to need it if you've got a second person in the room or you want to do something via Bluetooth on your phone or you just like this mic better. That's $199. You're not going to go wrong with Focusrite stuff. It's one of my favorite brands. The brands that I love for broadcasting, Electro Voice because of the RE20. I love anything by Zoom. Those recorders are great. I use an F3 Zoom field recorder to back up everything that I record. The F6 is great. The H4, the F2, I've used them all. They are excellent. So for portable recorders, I like Zoom. But for interfaces, you cannot beat a Focusrite. Focusrite, if you were to ask an audio engineer, music engineer, they all have Focusrite stuff, by the way. (laughs) Everybody's got a scarlet box, those red boxes that you see in podcasting studios, because they work. Sometimes people are brand loyal. They say, no, 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 you need to get universal audio, or you need to get this, or you need to get that. You know how it is with podcasters. You go to a group for podcasters and you say, hey, I just bought this mic and you're really excited about it. And there'll be 800 comments telling you that you bought the wrong mic. Sometimes you'll hear that with Focusrite, but you're going to hear that with anything. Sales do not lie. Those Focusrite Scarlet boxes, I think they've sold a million of those. I mean, it's a ton. It is the number one selling interface in the world. And there is a reason for that. The preamps that you get in the Scarlet box are the same preamps, the same guts, same thing that's making you sound good on the mic in these Vocaster series. So Vocaster 1 for $99 right now, the whole studio is $99. The mic, the headphones, the cables, or Vocaster 2 for $199. You're not going to go wrong. You're going to sound great. It is excellent. I wouldn't recommend anything to you that I don't use myself and that I don't love myself. If you've got any questions, do reach out to me, Mastodon, Threads, Blue Sky. You can find me at bigpodcast.com. If you haven't subscribed to this podcast, this is how to do that. Bigpodcast.com slash subscribe. I've made it very easy for you to subscribe. One click is all it takes. I've got three buttons to choose from. One for RSS, one for Android, one for iPhone. However you want to get this podcast, I'm going to get it to you. I've got a QR code that you can scan. Takes Build a Big Podcast from the Big Podcast supercomputer in the sky straight to your phone. You can listen to it wherever, whenever, anytime, any place. It is free. Check it out. If it doesn't work for you, you can unsubscribe at any time. We'll still remain friends. To start it up, bigpodcast.com slash subscribe. You'll get more thoughts on building a bigger podcast, building a podcast that people care about, sounding better, and also opportunities like this. Get a full studio package for $99 right now. Check it out. Bigpodcast.com has more information. Go there, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next episode of Build a Big Podcast.